why EV fast charging is exploding, and why it's finally enough. Hey EV dreamers, road warriors, and tech enthusiasts. Welcome back to EVpedia, your ultimate hub where passion meets electrification. Quick disclaimer before we zoom into today's story. This video is made for educational and commentary purposes, respecting fair use and copyright guidelines. We're here to inspire, not to infringe. All right, now let me ask you a question to kick things off, and I want you to answer it in the comments before we reveal the answer at the end. How many charging ports does the average newly built DC fast charging station in the US now have? Do you know? Comment below before we spill the beans later. Now, let's plug into today's electrifying topic. And while we're at it, help charge up our channel too. It takes just one click to subscribe, one click to like, and one thoughtful comment to keep EVpedia rolling at full power. In fact, let's set a goal. Can we hit 12,345 likes and 777 insightful comments in the next 24 hours? Let's show the world the EV community can crush it. So buckle up, because EV fast charging in America is not just growing up, it's growing bigger, better, and way smarter. For the longest time, finding a DC fast charger meant rolling up to a lonely little station with, if you were lucky, two ports. Often you'd arrive only to find one port busy and the other? not even compatible with your car. Not exactly the kind of electric dream you signed up for, right? It felt more like playing musical chairs with kilowatts than a seamless driving experience. But good news, that frustration is fast becoming a relic of the past. According to new data from research firm Peren, something exciting is happening. From January to May this year, the average number of charging ports at new DC fast charging stations in the US climbed to a whopping 4.7 ports per station. To put that into perspective, just a few years ago, the norm was one or maybe, maybe two ports. And that's if you didn't have to wrestle with incompatible formats or long lines of waiting cars. Now, if you've ever punched DC fast charger into your map, rolled up to a tiny station with two plugs and only one actually working, you know how frustrating it was. Not a fun day for any EV driver. But this is where the industry is finally listening to what EV drivers have been shouting about for years. We need more plugs, more power, and more reliability. Peren calls this the maturing of the fast charging industry, and it's a clear sign that we're moving past what they describe as the chaotic, charging 1.0 era. Back then, stations were built cheaply, with minimal capacity, just enough to tick boxes and look good on press releases. But the tide is turning. In fact, as of now, 82% of all new stations opened in 2025 already feature three or more ports. That's right, 82%. That number alone speaks volumes about where this industry is heading. And it's not just the usual suspects like Tesla paving the way with their iconic multi-stall superchargers. There's an entire wave of new and aggressive players building bigger, better, and more user-friendly stations. Companies like New York-based rideshare and charging company Revel, Mercedes-Benz High Power Charging, Walmart, and Iana are entering the game, and they're not here to mess around. Even some of the laggards are catching up. For example, ChargePoint, which once averaged a sad low 1.5 ports per station, is now pushing their average up to 2.3, with many newer stations sporting 6 ports or more. According to Peren, this is a strong indicator of the overall direction of the market, which is racing toward larger, high-capacity stations that actually meet demand. And here's the kicker. By some measurements, the average ports at stations now hover closer to 6 than 4, meaning we might even surpass today's reported average of 4.7 sooner than we expect. This shift reflects a broader awakening across the EV landscape. Drivers want reliable, accessible, and fast charging, and stations that can serve more than one car at a time. What a concept, right? The industry is finally realizing what works and what doesn't. Peren sums it up perfectly. All signs point toward a fast charging landscape dominated by larger, higher capacity stations. Now halfway through, let me pause for a second and ask, are you enjoying this ride through the electrifying world of EV infrastructure? Then don't just sit back, take action. Give us a unique thumbs up to help us hit our 12,345 like target. Leave your thoughts below. We'd love to reach that magical 777 comment milestone today too. After all, you're part of this community. Your voice matters here at EVpedia. So here's a question for you while we continue. When was the last time you had to wait at a charger? Did it make you wish for more ports? Share your story in the comments. You never know who else has lived the same experience. Now, let me give you Evpedia's personal take on all this. We're thrilled to see fast charging finally entering its big kid phase. 
We've been advocating for this kind of growth for years because we know the frustration firsthand. Rolling up to a station with just one working plug feels like trying to charge a crowd of Teslas with a single wall outlet, ridiculous and disheartening. Seeing multi-port stations become the new standard gives us hope that EV adoption won't just grow, but will thrive. But what about you? What do you think? Are four or five ports enough, or should we dream even bigger? Drop your opinion below. We genuinely want to know how you feel about the state of EV charging. And before we wrap things up, let me share a little-known fact to fuel your curiosity even more. Did you know that the very first public EV charging station in the U.S. opened back in 1994, long before Teslas were even a concept? It was a humble little pilot project in Portland, Oregon, serving a handful of experimental electric cars. Shows you just how far we've come. So, let's circle back to the question we asked at the very beginning. How many charging ports does the average newly built DC fast charging station in the U.S. now have? If you commented around 4.7, congratulations, you nailed it. That's the average for 2025 so far. To all of you who watched until the very end, thank you. You're not just viewers, you're the heart of EVpedia. We're honored to share this journey with you. And if you haven't already, this is your perfect moment to like this video, drop your thoughts below, and help us smash that 12,345 like and 777 comment challenge. Share this video with your EV curious friends and family too. Let's spread the spark together. And if you really want to show your love, don't forget about the super thanks button. Every little bit helps us keep creating content you care about. Here at EVpedia, we believe EVs aren't just the future. They're the present, evolving right before our eyes. And watching fast charging grow up like this? It's proof that when we push for better, better actually happens. So what do you think? Should we push even further? Aim for stations with 10 or 20 ports? Or do you think 5 to 6 is just fine? Drop your thoughts below. Let's keep the conversation alive. And remember, the more we engage, the faster the industry listens. One last tip before you go. If you want your EV battery to last longer, avoid charging it to 100% all the time. Aim for 80 to 90% for daily use. That little habit can extend your battery life by years. That's it from us today at EVpedia. Stay curious, stay charged, and keep pushing the boundaries. Like, comment, share, and of course, subscribe if you haven't yet. Together, we're not just watching the EV revolution, we're driving it. We'll see you in the next one.